up? It's Selena and I hope you're having a great day. So today I wanted to show you guys how I did something completely ridiculous. So, so extra, so, so basic. But as you can tell by the title, I have bedazzled my car. It's not three times a charm, it's four times a charm. This is the fourth time that I've actually bedazzled my car. Um, I'm trying some new rhinestones this time. I got this from a different website. I will have it linked down below. I'm using some AB crystals. Um, the kind that I used before was just, if you search up car bling on Amazon, I used to use those crystals several times and just kept redoing them almost every year. So it was super easy. So if that's the route that you wanna go, super easy, go for it. But I found this stuff. Y'all, I'm obsessed. This is probably my favorite crystals that I have ever used, and I get a lot of questions on it, so I wanted to show this to you guys. I'm just gonna kind of walk you through what I did. Um, sorry, like, this is kind of nighttime. The crystals, I actually, like, they sparkle so well in the daytime, but I just wanted to show you guys at nighttime just because, you know, things are fun. Things are super sparkly and fun at night. The crystals that I got are from BeCreateful.com and I will link those down below. They are all AB crystals. So I made sure that the whole surface of the car that I was going to bling was clean. I have these little rings from Amazon that I got that I was going to place over the turning knobs for the volume, for the tuning, and the um, AC. So I have those and I just stuck them on. Um, there's actually an adhesive for, um, to stick them onto the knobs if it fits your car. For mine, my knobs were a little too small, but actually I could just push them over the circles and they fit like little rings and I didn't have to use an adhesive. So that was fine and I like the way that it looks, but um, I'll, I'll put a picture from Amazon showing what they were supposed to look like if they actually fit my knobs. I'm really happy with the outcome regardless. So just to give you guys a bit of a background, I drive a Volvo XC60. So what I did, I actually made a stencil for the different pieces that I wanted to cover with crystals. So everything's a sheet and if you, the way that these crystals are made, if you pieced it together, you can piece them together and cut off little sections, but I didn't want there to be hardly any seams. So I decided to make a stencil. So I pressed the piece of paper down onto the surface that I wanted to bling and I basically outlined it so I'm gonna kind of recreate this for you guys now so I'm just tracing the outside this is just the CD port then I cut it out with some scissors this project pays off but my whole car like including all of myself which is covered in sticky crystals, but you know, well, it's fine. I'm not complaining. I'd rather be covered in crystals than in anything else. I love bling. Who doesn't want to be covered in crystals? Like for real, like, please. I, I would bling myself if I could. Voila, this is my stencil for my CD port that I just made. And so what I did was I took the crystal sheet and I placed this on the back side and I just cut out around the stencil. I actually cut the crystals to be a bit larger than my actual stencil sheet here because I wanted to allow room for mistakes. You don't wanna cut your crystals too short. You wanna have some room to just clean it up and make sure that everything fits. Um, you can take off the excess later. So I did that and the actual strip that I was gonna place on here was bigger. And I pressed it down and I have some footage of like me applying the crystals here and I just pressed it down. Then what I did what next was I took these small little scissors here. These are actually like nail scissors I think but the, um, it's almost like an exacto knife the way that it's so sharp. So I did that and it was a good way to like get in there and cut the stickers out. So it is a sticky sheet so I kind of just did what you do with some paper projects. Like I stuck my little scissors into the crystal sheet that was sticky and I just took out what I didn't need over the holes. And I did the same thing here. I did another stencil for um, my gear shift and then I just cut out the part here in the middle as you can see with my scissors once the sheet was placed down. I had to kind of have a seam in the back. The way that I had cut it and had placed it on here, I couldn't get it over the gear shift here. So 
yeah there's a little seam there but it's in the back so it's fine whatever there obviously to see what gear I'm in park reverse neutral drive um, I took these little small scissors again and I punctured it through the sticky crystal sheet and just cut into a rectangle as best as I could to show what gear or mode that I was in to clean it all up and make sure that it was clean I took my handy dandy goo gone and I used, I put some of the goo gone onto a rag and just blotted the parts that had been covered with a sticky sheet that I wanted to show just to clean it up and to where it looked normal again. Um, when I place them down after you kind of touch them a little while, for a little bit, um, the sticky side tends to not be as clear anymore. Just using just a little bit of the goo gone really helps clean it, clean it up and bring back that clearness again of the adhesive. Any edges that were a little bit rough from what my scissors missed when I was cleaning up all the open sections, I took the goo gone and just ran it gently along that, like say for instance of the hole here, I just ran it along the inside just to where it would clean up any rough edges of the adhesive that had not been completely taken off. And there are some other sections here like my um, around my gear shift knob and um, around my cup holder area, the little part that slides down on the console. I covered that with crystals, but it was super easy just to measure it on my crystal sheet and just cut out maybe like one to two lines of crystals and I just wrap them around and it, that part was super easy. Like that's, that was no problem. But for the big pieces, I really recommend making a stencil first on a sheet of paper, cutting it out and then using little tiny scissors or an X-Acto knife to cut out all the parts that you don't want to be covered with crystals. I also got this little guy. Um, it is just a fling little a cigarette light holder thing, majig, I don't really know what to call it. Um, but yeah, I just got that to go and sit in here. So it is from Amazon as well, and I will have that link down below. I didn't DIY this, but I got this cute little um, car scent thing from Bath and Body Works. I really have no idea like what to call this other than like a car scent diffuser type deal thing. I don't know, you guys know what it's called. Bath and Body Works has like some name for it but yeah I just have it. it has like little pearls and it has AB crystals to kind of tie in the whole theme and it's got some clear crystals on it as well this is also a phone holder to set my phone in to use my GPS when I'm driving it's a whole lot safer than having it sitting on your lap and having to look down all I have to do is glance over here to the side so that is what this is and I got this from Amazon and I will have it linked down below I really hope that that makes sense for you guys I really hope that this helps you and gives you some inspiration let me know in the comments below if you guys like this tutorial and if you guys want to see more DIYs in the future and if you happen to do this to your car or anything else bedazzled please show me I would love to see it I love seeing tons of bling it's so pretty and just oh love it and yeah you should totally do this to your car too because then we can be twinsies today social media shout out goes out to Christine I will have all of her social information here for you guys so definitely go follow her and check her out she's actually starting a YouTube channel too soon and she's super nice super pretty and so so sweet so y'all please give her a follow and tons of love don't forget that every week you can win a social media shout out here on my channel by turning on your post notifications, subscribing, leaving me a comment down below telling me something about the video and saying that you have post notifications on. And you can also leave your Instagram name and I will pick one winner every week to win a social media shout out from me. So even if you didn't win this one, just know that you can keep doing this every single week and you will have so many chances to win a social media shout out. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. I post videos every week. And as always, don't forget to follow me on social media so we can be friends outside of this video, which I would also love because I get to know you guys better. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I will see you guys next week. Bye, guys.